Welcome back. This is an Alex training video on designing a galvanic cell from two half reactions. A galvanic cell is a battery. And so I've got a simple battery drawn here at the top. A battery essentially is separating two sets of charged particles. So I've got some kind of a fluid or some kind of a gel in both of these uh, beakers. And then I have a metal uh, uh, deposited in these beakers that's made out of the same stuff that the ions are in that jar. So, for instance, if this is copper metal, this would be a copper solution. Zinc metal would be a zinc solution, something like that. And then they're separated. So these two metals are different, the two solutions are different, and the solution is the same as the metal that you're talking about. One side is going to lose electrons, okay, and then they go across a wire to the other side. Now, what you've done by you force the electrons across, and that's the purpose of a battery, those electrons can do work. They can light a light bulb. You can put this uh, battery in your flashlight and make it light. You can do whatever uh, with a battery. Your phone has a battery. Everything has batteries. So this is the basic idea of a battery. You need some way back for the charge to go through. So you have to have either some kind of a salt bridge that connects the jars, or you have to have some kind of a something across so that that's wet, like a even a wet piece of paper towel that has some salt on it so that the so that the charge can travel back and forth and you can get a circuit but one side is going to lose electrons because the electrons are going away you can see the electrons leaving the oxidation side is losing electrons and the reduction side is gaining that's why it's called reduction they they get more negative they're reducing in charge they're gaining electrons that's negative and your charge is being reduced so the anode that's on the reduction side is called the cathode. The anode or the, the electrode that's on the oxidation side is called the anode. So they're both electrodes. This is the cathode, this is the anode, right? Also, I would need to know which of these solutions are going to be oxidized and which one's gonna be reduced. So I come up here and find out which one's which. I've got zinc, which is two plus, and then zinc, which is zero, because this is just an element. An elemental is always going to be zero. The elemental form of an atom or an element is always zero. So I've got a two, and I've got a zero. So it's gone from two to zero. That's going down. So this is reduced. Here I've got manganese, O2. O is negative two. There's two of these, so this is negative four. This balances, so this is positive four. It's gone from positive four to positive two. So that's gone down, so this is both reduction. All right, now that's immediate red flag. I can't have both reduction, because if one is gaining the electron, it's got to be gaining it from the other one, so one has to be positive. That means one of these I have to flip around and make it oxidize. So if it's being reduced going in this direction and I flip it, it's going to be oxidized going back the other direction. But I don't know which one to flip. I'm either going to flip the top one and then I'm, or I'm going to flip the bottom one. That's why they ask for the balanced equation. It seems like that's an easy question because they gave it to you up here. But one of these you're going to have to, to write in the first way, the way you have it. The other way has to be flipped. So you have to ask yourself, why or how do I know? So they've given you another piece of information, and that's the voltage. In order to turn the uh, elect uh, cations into a reduced zinc metal, not only does it not give you, say, a voltage, remember, is a push. So that's uh, your battery has volts in it, so 1.5 volts. So a AA battery or, or a AAA battery would be 1.5 volts. But they're positive volts. If you have a positive voltage, that means you've got a push. Think of a water at the top of a waterfall. It's got a push. It'll naturally happen. At the bottom of the waterfall, it's going to have a negative voltage. And not only does it not happen by itself, but in order to get the water to the top, you have to add this amount of push to push it back to the top. You'd have to pump that water to the top of the waterfall. If you have a positive voltage, it's going to happen automatically. Now, that doesn't help us yet, except that I know that the total, the, the, um, the total voltage of the entire battery has to be positive. Otherwise, it's a dead battery. Okay? You have to have a positive voltage in order for there to be a push. And the total is going to be the energy at the, or the, um, the standard potential at the cathode minus the standard potential at the anode. So the cathode 
is here. It's the one being reduced, okay? So this is the one being reduced minus the one being oxidized, all right? So whichever one makes, whichever one makes this whole thing positive, the second one is going to be flipped because right now they're both reduced. I have to flip one of them. Which one is it? So let's look here. If I have, I have if I have this negative 0.73 minus 1.23, do you see that would be a minus? That's not going to happen. This would be a dead battery. So you flip it around, and I start with this one 1.23 minus a minus 0.763, that works, that's positive. Minus a minus is positive. Just be like adding a positive number to a positive number. That means this one has to be oxidized and this one has to be reduced. So the reduced one is already given. The oxidation, you're gonna to have to flip it. Exactly the left becomes the right, the right becomes the left. All right, now, which one is reduced? The cathode is the one that's reduced, and the anode is the one that's oxidized, all right? So that means this one stays put, and this one flips. So here's the one at the cathode. The cathode is the one being reduced, and this stays reduced. So I'm just going to write this one exactly. I'm just going to copy MN2 solid plus 4H plus aqueous plus two electrons yields MN2 plus aqueous plus 2H2O liquid. Okay, all I did was copy. This one I'm going to copy, but I'm going to copy it backwards because I don't want the reduction one. I want the, I want the oxidized one. I want the one that's backwards. So I'm just going to write it backwards. Zinc solid yields zinc 2 plus aqueous plus two electrons, okay? Now, write a balanced equation for both. You simply have to make, now it says you want it spontaneous. Well, we've already done it. We've taken care of it by making these a positive voltage and knowing which one to flip. This is now gonna be spontaneous. This, this cell will work. This is a, a, a live battery, okay? So all I'm gonna do is is first of all, I have to flip this up here. Let me, let me rewrite it. This is gonna be zinc solid. This is gonna be zinc two plus aqueous plus two electrons, okay? Add everything on the left, then write an arrow, then add everything on the right. Everything that you see on both of these, put it together, then put an arrow, everything on this side. All you're doing is adding it together. So when I do it, I end up with zinc solid plus MnO2 solid plus four protons aqueous yields zinc two plus aqueous plus Mn two plus aqueous plus two H2O liquid. All I did was write them together. Write these two together, write these two together, put the arrow in the middle. Now, do I have enough information to do it? I've got numbers, numbers, I'm gonna do subtract numbers and I'm solving for this. So yes, I do have enough information to calculate the cell voltage under standard conditions. And that's what the, the little degree mark means, standard conditions, okay? And so what's it gonna be? Well, I know that it's gonna be the standard uh, voltage is going to be whatever the cathode is and the cathode is my reduced, here's the reduced, and so I'm just gonna have that number, 1.23 volts, okay, minus, and then what is the standard conditions of this, okay? Standard conditions of this is um, negative 0.763 volts, and so I have a negative negative, a plus, and I end up with 1.99 volts, and that goes here, 1.99 volts, okay? Hard, 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 okay? But I hope that you're gaining some ground every day.